Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in TLA 8 which is all about types of software. This will be the first quarter topic, week 1 and day 3. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to define software and to explain how it differs from hardware. The second one is to explain the role of the importance of device drivers and middleware software. And the third one is to appreciate the importance of how software works by walking through example of installing an application, creating a presentation, and running a desk clean up utility. For the explicitation, so let us define what is software and hardware. So software is this a set of instruction, data, or program that used to operate computers and execute a specific task. While the hardware, it is an invariable part. So this distinction highlights software flexibility and its role in defining a computer's capabilities beyond its physical form. The following are the two main categories of software. So the first one is the application software. This software fulfills specific user needs or perform tasks. It can be self-contained or a group of programs such as office suits, web browsers, and image editors. While the system software, these are designed to run a computer's hardware. It is a system software coordinates activities and provides a platform for application. The operating system is a prime example. The following are the application of software. So the first one is the user-centric function. So application software platform specific function for a user or another application. And it is most common type directly interacting with users to accomplish the task. Another application software is the diverse examples. So modern application include the official suites, graphic software, databases, web browser, word processor, soft development tools, image editors, and communication platforms. Another application software is the self-contained or the group. It is an application, can be a single program, or it is a collection of programs working together to provide a comprehensive solution for the user. The following are the computer's foundation, the system software. So the first one is the hardware management. So system software programs are designed to run a computer's application program and hardware, coordinating their activities and function. The second one is the platform provider. It controls computer hardware operation and provides an environment or platform for all other software types to function effectively. And the third one is the operating system. The OS is the best example managing all the other computer programs. Other examples include the firmware, language translator, and system utilities. The following are the driver software enabling device functionality. So the first one is it is a device control, also known as the device drivers. So this software controls devices and peripherals connected to the computer, enabling them to perform specific tasks. The second one is that it is essential for functions. So every device connected to a computer needs at least one device driver to function properly, ensuring seamless communication between the hardware and the software. 
And the third one, it is a diverse application. So examples include the software for non-standard hardware like game controller and for standard hardware such as USB storage devices, keyboards, headphones, and printers. The following are the middleware bridging software gaps. So the first one is the software meditation. So middleware meditates between application and system software or between two different kinds of application software facilitating the communication. The second one is inter-application communication. So it enables program like Microsoft Windows to communicate with Excel and words ensuring smooth data exchange and functionality. And the third one is the cross OS request. So middleware also allows remote work request from the application on one OS to the application on the different OS, enhancing the interoperability. And the last one is the legacy integration. So crucially, it enables um, newer application to work seamlessly with older and legacy system preserving functionality and data. The following are the programming software tools for creation. So the first one is the code writing. So computer programmers use programming software to write code forming foundation of all other software programs. The second one is the development tools. So these tools enable developers to develop, write, test, and debug software programs efficiently and effectively. So how does software work? So all software provides the directions and data computers need to work and meet users' needs. However, the two different types, such as the application software and system software, work in distinctly different ways. The following are the dimensions of software quality include the following characteristics.